Good to see you, good to be here. Does it feel like this fight is, has you on the cusp of that world title once again? Oh man, it feels good, it feels right. And uh, being in the fight where I know that I'm going to have a fight, it's, it's, it's exciting. So I'm, 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 I'm buzzing to this one. It's a fight that I have been wanting for, for quite some time. And, uh, and I, you know, like I said before, um, I always want to fight the top guys so I can go out there and, and prove myself as the top man. So this, this fight is perfect for me to go out there and, and earn my spot as a, a title contender and, you know, fight for the belt. I seen an interview uh, Aaron did recently. He said it'll be straightforward for him. What would your response be to that? And to be honest, let him think whatever. You know, he'll find out on Saturday. Uh, we spoke to Brian earlier. He talked, he's obviously moving up weight. Um, he spoke with his train. He's trained with you guys, the kind of bigger guys he called. Uh, how's the camp been with having him around and just in general? Oh, it's been great. You know, it's been great to be back. Uh, not that we don't train together, but uh, of course, with, uh, with camps, we always try to training groups, you know, division groups and, 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 and having Brian again on the featherweight group around, it's, it's, it's great because he's such a unique fighter. Uh, he's by far one of the best, you know, footwork guys that, that you know, his footwork is excellent, his boxing is excellent, his, you know, it's, it's just, I love to watch uh, Brian fight and, and having him at featherweight fresh, fully, fully, fully ready to go, it's, I'm excited to him. I'm excited to him, and I'm excited to watch him beat this man. I just want to ask you while you're here. The Rugby World Cup is on at the moment, and Portugal played um, the other day. Did you watch it? Did, you know, it's not a massive sport in Portugal yet, but they did very well. Uh, so, like, unfortunately, uh, Portugal is not like a big uh, rugby country. But, uh, but you know, as a, as a Portuguese man, I follow. I follow the results, and I know they. I know they. They are doing well, even though I don't understand a yeah. lot about rugby but uh, I do know they, they did pretty well against Wales yeah. and uh, hopefully the boys will, will do good which is already historical because it's the first time ever that Portugal is on, in the World Cup so I, I believe that in the future we might do even better. So. Hi Pedro, um, obviously you fought Patricio before and that would be the ultimate goal again but you know he's coming off two losses now and he's going to have a bit of time out. Would a win here, do you think you could get either a shot at him or maybe an interim title going forward? Oh, for sure the next thing, it's an interim belt. Uh, because he'll, he'll be out until summer next, next year. Uh, he's not going to fight any time early than that. And um, I heard some, somewhere that uh, Bellator is going to do an interim belt. So, and besides, even, even if, if, if I don't heard that they're uh, around, it's... It's the obvious thing to, to do it because he doesn't defend his belt for uh, quite some time. He's going to be out for, uh, for a good bit, so it just makes sense to make an interim belt and not holding the, the division. Obviously, we've seen in Aaron's fight in the early part of his career where he was, I suppose, caught early. Um, is that something you think has gone out of his game or do you think it's something that's still there with him? Well, he is a different fighter. If you look f uh, to his early fights before his losses and, and after his losses, he, he is a different fighter. And, uh, and for the better for him, he is a way better fighter uh, after, after the losses. Um, the core, him as a fighter, is the same fighter, you know, he, and, and that's one of the things that I like on him. He's, he's a fi I call him, he's a fighter's fighter. You know, he goes in there to win, but he goes in there to fight. You know, he's not gonna. He's not normally. He's not there for holding and look at the clock and waiting for the time to pass. He's, he's there to to hurt you and to finish you, which I like it. You know, but like I've said, I don't care about no one. I just care about me. I just care about what I'm doing and what I'm going to do on Saturday. And the rest is rest. Not to maybe give away the tactics or anything, but like. Is starting fast the most important thing for you against Aaron? Because, like, as, as we've seen, you know, in these losses, a lot of them have been early, and you're a guy who comes out and does often start fast, land big shots early. Is that something you've really kind of keyed in on the start of the fight? It's not a thing that I'm looking for because we never know what's going to happen in a fight. You know, we, we, can, we can imagine a fight millions, million of ways, and the fight happens in that one way that we never picture it. 
So I, I don't I don't lose too many time. I, I know that you know Aaron always always most of the times he, he fight in a specific way, they're very aggressive way. So for sure uh, I'm gonna have to uh, handle with with shots, which which I, I'm looking for. I, I rather prefer having someone that throws at me. There's someone that is just like try to hug me and and make some love. Obviously, you've had a few months now to reflect on the Jeremy Kennedy loss. Like uh, in your mind, what do you think went wrong there, and how are you gonna? What have you been doing in training to stop Aaron coming in and following the same kind of blueprint that Jeremy followed? Well, f first of all. Uh, 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 speaking specifically about Jeremy and Aaron, uh, I'm not too worried about that because both of them are different fighters. Uh, Kennedy fights always the same way. He's, you know, he, he's good at doing that, but he's always fighting that way. He holds you and just pretty much waits for, for the clock to do it. He's good at doing that, but he's, uh, Pico does, does not do that. I'm not, not saying that he might not try and doing that, but... Um, Physically and stylistically, they are not the same, you know. Um, especially when you you near someone there, looking for shots. When you look for shots, you create openings. You know, each fight is a fight, and each person is a person. So, um, talking about that fight specifically, there, there was a lot of things going wrong in, into that fight. You know, I you know I I kind of dealt you know with some personal things that doesn't really matter. And my own approach was, was a bit wrong going to that fight um, because one of the most dangerous things to do is when you feel so comfortable about it. Because, for example, now fighting Pico, I know I have to be aware of his explosiveness, of um, how explosive he is, how powerful he is. So that, that uh, dangerous make me alert. With, uh, with Kennedy, I knew that he wouldn't knock me out because I am a better striker. He wouldn't submit me. So I was like, ah, I'll be fine. So I'm just going to play this technical, tactical game with him. And it was the wrong approach. And, uh, and with those kind of fighters, once they get the grab of you and they can see that they can keep you there, they grow and they kind of kill the flame on you, which is, you know, merit for him. He done that very, very well. Uh, but I, I, I don't think, I, and I didn't felt that he showed me that he's a better fighter than me. He just was more effective. And it wasn't a case like, I don't have arguments with this guy. It was just like, on that night, I made the wrong decisions. That was it. Even like we've seen in recent kind of years in, in, in the judging criteria that even if you're on your back, if you if you do kind of you know uh, defend well and land from the bottom, you can you can actually win these rounds. Is is that something that maybe you thought you you could have kind of changed the game plan to when when you were stuck on your back against Jeremy Kennedy and something you may try to do in the future? One of them, one of them, yeah. And uh, you have you have actually a good example when uh, Jeremy Kennedy fought uh, <laughs> against uh, Emmanuel Sanchez. Uh, I don't I don't actually know. The judges, uh, the judges' uh, scorecard, but I scored the first round to um, Emmanuel Sanchez because he was more active in, in the floor, in the floor, in the striking, and on the floor he just kept uh, um, throwing damage. So, yeah, that's one of those those things. But it's not the main or the only thing. There's there's a few little details in there that I know that if I face him again, it's gonna make a huge huge difference. Thank you. Hi. Uh, how does it feel to be a co-main now in, you know, your second home, basically? Well, uh, fortunately and gratefully, it's the the second co-main event in a row that I'm doing it. This time, you know, I'll get my hand raised and uh, I've been working for it. And this time, everything is going to be doing just right. So it's not only, it's, it's great responding to you, it's great, but uh, I think it's, you know, Details. A fight is a fight. If I was the first fight on the prelims or the, or the second last or the last in the card, a fight is a fight. Doesn't matter. Do you? Is your mental approach any different now, or the feelings that you have any different now than it was the last fight? Mm, yeah, I mean, yes and no. Yes, because the the opponent is different, uh, the camp is different, everything is different. So in that in that specific way, it is different. But in all concerns of me, Pedro. It isn't because you know I I I try to do I always try to bring new things to me not only um, skill wise but even mindset wise but uh, you know 
I'm Peter, and I, you know, I I am what I am, so I I keep like that. Do you think it makes a difference that you fought for the title, and uh, Aaron is the guy that hasn't, but is super hungry? I don't think so. I don't think so because um, I'm hungry as well. You know, I I I I wasn't. I know I didn't want the the world belt. I'm hungry. I I, I'm, I I can say that I'm probably hungrier than him because I have the taste of it. I have I have the belt in my hands on the photo shoot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I I felt it. So uh, day in day in, I I see myself with that belt around my waist, and right now the the path is is pretty clear in front of me. But um, I don't want to think about belts. I don't want to think about rematch uh, with Jeremy Kennedy or with Patricio. Nothing does nothing matter because I have to pass forward uh, Pico, and that's what I'm focused on. That answers my last question as well because I was wondering what the plan would be if you've thought about it after you beat Aaron. Yeah, like my my my, my plan is there, you know, because you know, um, pretty much. The winner the, after after we get the winner of this fight, which will be me, um, the only the only obvious thing to do is their intro belt. Thank you, Pedro. I, I spotted you um, in the some of the footage from when Connor got his, his black belt. Yeah, well, that was a pretty special night at the gym, right? Ah, it was. It was. It was. It was a good and special night, one hundred percent. Did you see much of of him? And obviously, Ian Gary was out there as well. Did you see much of uh, of those guys while they were there? Yeah, good be. Yeah, they 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 worked so while uh, while Ian Gary while was here in uh, in Dublin, he uh, he showed up like a couple of times. Uh, I didn't have the chance of, of of working with him as obvious because he's a welterweight <laughs> and I'm a featherweight. But uh, but yeah, but but both of them were were in the match training like, with the lads. Like, do you think he's really approaching that world level now? Do you think he's within the next year he'll be like from what you've seen of him, he's going to be around you know competing for. World titles again? Uh, it could be for the world title for the first time. I said again there. First time. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. And uh, even the way you, you, watch, you watch him fight, he approached fighting in a very smart way. And uh, even though his striking is very clean, it's very good, you can see that uh, he doesn't rush into things. And, and you can see that inside of the ring and outside of the ring. And... 100%. I will put my money there. It, it's, it is a matter of time until eventually he becomes world champion. From what you've seen of Connor in the gym, do you think he's ready for the comeback? I know they just announced he's not coming back in December, but do you think he's ready now? I would say so. I would say that uh, the energy around it, it's, it's different. You can see, you, you, I mean, my, my personal point of view, the energy you feel it, it's, it's different. It's that uh, fight feeling around it. Thanks, Pedro. That's it. Thank you lots. Appreciate